My experience with this work is that it actually taps into something sort of universal about learning that is important both to like educators and learners and community members. There's something that we can all get excited about. Learning that's actually happening in connection to our place. I think it's the kind of learning that really cultivates the most joy and curiosity and it's the kind of learning that also nurtures the relationships that build a really strong foundation for individuals but also for a whole town or a whole community. My introduction to the CAE was back when I started this job in 2016 and they had invited me to a meeting which was with the Council on Rural Development and it was to talk about the outcome of the study that was done, you know, what are the three needs this community has and one of the needs was building and growing the relationship between the school and the community. From that, uh, Reeve and Sarah and I worked together to apply for a grant, which was to build a uh, career academy here, which was focused on artists and trades and entrepreneurship. You know, Reeve just brings this really positive energy into our school around place-based education. The goal is to be a partner with the schools, and so there's a lot of discovering what's really ripe for investing in, what projects are ready for support and for sort of being taken to the next level. Today, we're gonna to go gardening with the after-school program at Wolcott, and we're also gonna spend some time with the Recipe for Human Connection class, so I'm glad you can come along. Making something together, like something like a soup, is this wonderfully like creative and collaborative experience. And then people can come and eat it together but it, there's no separation between the people who are making it and who are eating it. Food is this thing that, that brings us together and heals us and nurtures us and makes us feel welcome. The Recipe for Human Connection class, it was developed in the middle of COVID and remote learning. And the idea was to find a way of being together that felt healing and really connected in a time when that was or to come by. So today we have Rose from the East Hardwick Community Meal who is coming to share about that project and our class is going to work on prepping a bunch of vegetables that we have gleaned and harvested from our own Hazen greenhouse and they will be used for that community meal. So there's a lot of building community that happens in the class in the classroom, in the kitchen as we cook, and then there's the next layer of community building that's reaching out and discovering where we live through that lens of community food access. In today's world, youth having a positive connection to their communities um, is everything. When I see a student who might not be thriving in this, uh, in this setting, when I see them connect with a community mentor, a community partner, uh, and some kind of experience, I see that have a positive impact and change their relationship with school. At the Wolcott School, one of the ways that we've been able to put more energy into the garden was by partnering with REACH and having groups of kids come and meet me in the garden to do all kinds of projects, including a lot of hard work also a lot of tasting and playing and observing and celebrating all the awesome things that are happening out there. Joy is such an essential ingredient in the well-being of a community. It's an essential ingredient in learning. I think that it's our responsibility, those of us who are holding space for youth and creating and designing school systems to make sure that that joy is prioritized. Being outside working with kids in the garden, so often all of a sudden <laughs> they'll just burst into song together <laughs> as their hands are in the dirt or as they're shoveling or, you know, it's just an amazing reminder of how powerful it is to, to do good work together. I love witnessing young people discovering how much the earth loves them and how much they love it back. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
and really any person of any age, that's an amazing thing to witness, but it's something that gives me a lot of hope. Um, and I also feel like that experience tends to result in kids having this like increased capacity to send that kindness and that love outwards into, you know, towards other people as well. So it really, that whole thing of the way that the natural world and working together in it inspires people to love themselves and love each other. It's very, um, very inspiring for me.